Now I got a quick little trick for belt drive machines like this jig bore here and I'll show you what it is. Now the jig bore has a double Reeves drive variable speed belt and this is from the Moore company this uh, tip is to park the machine in mid speed which is about 1500 rpm so that's where you leave the machine if you're not going to use it and it puts the pulleys at midpoint if it was set slow um, it would pinch the belts at one end or, at, or set high it would pinch the belts at the other end going uh, how the pulleys work and get larger and smaller. So you want to keep them in the middle. That's the best compromise. Now here's the tip. The, if you keep them in the middle, you can turn the spindle by hand too. So watch this. The boring, this, this machine sat for quite a while. And so if I turn, the boring head, see it pops back. That's from the set in the belt where they wrap around the pulley. They get a kink, and it's not as severe a kink if you left it in high or low. So you see that? So you keep turning it until it doesn't pop back. Now if you, if you continue to rotate it, it'll find the kink on the other pulley and drop in, usually right there, see? So we keep going, and you find a spot where it doesn't uh, spring back and forth. Then you leave it like that for a while before you, uh, uh, ideally, you know, for 20, 30 minutes at least, or an hour, and then when you start the machine up, it won't run lumpy or as lumpy until it warms up. I'll show you on another machine. We'll head over there. Uh, the axle sun uses no belts, it's direct drive. Hey, it's nice having a smooth running table saw too. Now check this one out. Down here is the belt section. That's a Rockwell Delta. 12 14 inch tilting arbor saw of about 1968 vintage. Okay, I got a light burning in here and we can look at it. Get this over here. And if we look up, we can see this thing's got four belts. And this is a five horse. Uh, three-phase motor but it doesn't need four belts to uh, turn the blade the reason it has the belts is for cushion so this machine is one that it's best adjusted with it running <laughs> which is, can be kind of tricky but it's one of the best ways to find it or incrementally adjust it until it runs smooth. Okay, let's look at the top side here. I hope you're all doing good today. So I'll raise the guard and uh, crank the blade up. If I can find the handle here. I'll crank it up pretty good there. Okay, now watch this. See if I can get this sitting here. I think I got the wrong. Uh, there we go. It'll do it that way. Okay. So this is going to do the same thing. See? It's going to spring back. And if I just start the saw. Um, it would take about 10 minutes for this thing to smooth out. 
So before I start the saw, I do the same thing um, that I did with the spindle on the jig bore. As I roll the blade back, see it keeps springing back, you roll it until it doesn't spring back anymore. See if I bring it a little bit forward, it'll hit that set. See? So I'll pull it forward. See that? So we'll pull it until it doesn't spring back. Then it's then that uh, set will work itself out. Now when I start the saw, it'll just take a few minutes for it to uh, smooth out, and I think it saves the belt. Anyway, um, that was the advice I got from Moore on the jig board because those belts are real expensive. Okay. I'll be back with Jig Born here in a day, <laughs> maybe tomorrow. I got a bunch of stuff to do. We're supposed to have some weather here with uh, Atmospheric River or close by. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, what do you think?